I would like to look at the broader geopolitical picture before ending this interview. For the first time since the end of the Cold War, the US will deploy long-range Tomahawk missiles in Germany by 2026. The Tomahawk cruise missile is not only hard to detect on radar, but also has a range of 2,500 kilometers. Moscow, for example, is around 1,600 kilometers away from Berlin, and this deployment will give NATO the capability to strike Moscow. Even though there wasn't a major political debate in Germany on this issue, most of the establishment parties such as the Greens, Social Democrats, Conservative, Christian Democrats all voiced their support for this deployment. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock defended the deployment by stating that Russia has been continuously violating international arms agreement by expanding its nuclear capabilities. She went on and let me quote her here. We must protect ourselves and our Baltic partners against this including through increased deterrence and additional standoff weapons. Anything else would not only be irresponsible, but also naive in the face of an ice-cold Kremlin." I'll unquote. Can you provide your assessment on these long-range missiles and whether you think the deployment in Germany, as a foreign minister stated, will protect Europe and provide deterrence against the ice-cold Kremlin? I think Petra Kelly is turning over in her grave, saying, Petra Kelly, the founder of the German Green Party, which uh, we emerged from the anti-nuclear movement, which was adamantly opposed in its very genetic makeup to the stationing of nuclear-capable American missiles on German soil. This is an utter betrayal of that legacy. And I say this not only as an activist, a peace activist, a journalist, uh, a person uh, who aspires to be a person of conscience, but also as somebody who ran to be the leader of the Green Party of Canada. Uh, you know, and I came very close to winning that contest in 2020. So I'm intimately familiar with the core values of the Green Party and the history of the party. And uh, I think the greatest favor that uh, Annalena Baerbach and Robert Habeck can do uh, for the global green movement is to change the name of their party. And they should call it the party of war and the party of reckless endangerment. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, if the Russians were actually concerned or inclined to use nuclear weapons, against the West, they would have used them by now. There are now German tanks and British tanks on Russian soil in areas where Germans under the Third Reich use tanks to kill massive numbers of Russians in the Second World War. And yet they haven't struck Germany, even with conventional weapons, let alone with nuclear weapons. So this notion that Putin's government or any Russian government is hell bent on waging nuclear war against the West is complete fantasy, it's delusional, and uh, frankly, they better come to their senses uh, before we are all uh, consumed in a conflagration of fire. And I just want to draw, uh, you know, remind people, I'm sure people in Germany are, are, are better aware of this than I am. But I learned the other day that uh, I'm going to mispronounce her name, I, I, although I have great respect for her, Sarah R Wagenrecht. Uh, I, I probably mispronounced that. The leader of a new uh, left-leaning anti-imperialist party in Germany gave a speech to the Bundeswehr, Bundeswehr I, I discovered this a couple of days ago, uh, in March of this year, in which she denounced the insane policies of the German government, the coalition government, in the Ukraine war, and concluded her impassioned statement with the words, have you all lost your minds? Uh, I repeat those uh, compelling words. And the question she asked on that day, six months ago, it's even more compelling today.